Hello everyone, this is Verde, and today, this is the second attempt of recording today, because I forgot to, to hit the cord for the last time, yay! So anyway, uh, we have two new patch notes, one is basically that thing I mentioned earlier, where snipers were missing, and also some balance things, so easy missions should be easier now. But anyway, let's go right into it. I have an exploration, an ash basins. I like scouting for ash basins. About here, no airdrops. I'll go with a scouting for ash basins. Let's go. I didn't even change my things. Anyway, nukes, good for scouting, good for everything. Growth, nice. Learning, ship buildings needed. Okay, let's make these two prioritized. Yeah, the hill is good. More new. Mm. I will go out with a bank. Build damage. Growth. The idea here is to, oh god, play with it, did it a bit. So this is a scout mission, and it goes towards that, that right? The uh, thing. Could I value drift? I suppose. Value drifting is good for business, right? This is a very weird formation for the for the tracks. Oh, scan! Scan is very good for this. This way, I can just turtle up. I'm making a very rough turtling. Let's nuke some things. I'll nuke here. Mostly because it, the fallout protects my base a little bit. But anyway, I've, I haven't been able to record these later days because, well, it is the holidays and as per usual, I ate something I didn't probably eat. Uh, I shouldn't have eaten. And I got food poisoning. Which is nice. Oh, this is hard. And you can probably see it by my voice. Hear it in my voice, I suppose. Uh it is a little bit weird, I suppose. I don't know. But we are getting a big Big thing over there. But it's fine. Good news, I've tested it recently and the game runs on Proton. Which is a thing that makes that makes it possible to run the game in Linux. So our Linux players will be able to play it properly. Which is nice. I am building this thing really weirdly because I'm probably gonna value drift. So, but anyway, how's your day going? I. It is nice to be out of bed for change. It's something, to say the least. Uh, I seen that someone uploaded a Roll of X video. Uh, I forgot its name, it is Atomic something. Atomic. And it got a ton of views! Which is nice.
because oh, every rule of X feel is positive. Because more of you guys see the game. So it seems like the algorithm is helping us in that way. But I don't know a lot about YouTube algorithms. Anyway. Oh, tons of those things. I've been talking about a lot lately about the update cycle, right? Because I'm planning on doing, uh, basically start doing things for the next update, but still, I feel compelled to upload stuff for the current one, and I'm a little bit torn that way. I probably have to make two branches of the thing, which is something that I'll possibly have to do. Because there are some things that I really want to change. Uh, recently I've made that lag map I mentioned in an earlier vi video. That thing that basically shows a small circle around whatever is creating lag. But I have a very specific problem right now. Which is the lag within this game is very distributed. It's not like one thing is causing a lot of lag, but there are tons of things causing small amounts of lag. And those things add up, you know. Because... Well, it is a game about creating a base that has tons of stuff. This base is overall small. Most bases I've covered on my videos are small compared to what players have been doing, really. I believe it goes this way. Yeah. Really, people have been doing bases so big that they cannot fit in this view. By their own desk. Yeah. And it is hard to conceive a possibility of having the game without lag in that situation, you know. I have a very specific concern, which is... I can't fix it by... Oh, I'm losing tons of buildings. This is one of those new notifications. Oh, that thing. There is a bug currently going on, on with this thing. With the... This thing. Alright. Anyway. Let's... Oh, some buildings there. Let's nuke this guy. These guys. Let's get out of barrier. That's nice. I'll extend it a little bit more. But anyway... I haven't got any data centers, which is not great. I would want more data centers. And I'm losing a lot of buildings there. Anyway... Oh, let me write that down. I got an idea. Basically, there is an object within the game that is created when you click these things. That is a camera mover. 
basically drags your camera to the position of whatever you clicked, right? But basically, uh, they they are causing a, some problems. Not that many problems, but some problems. And my current idea is, as soon as the player right clicks and anywhere in the map, they will all be deleted. Oh, losing tons of structures there. I really hope I value drift to somewhere that isn't this godforsaken planet. Yeah, Coca Tune is hard. Would that thought, right? And constantly losing buildings. And I still haven't found the the boss layer. But these guys... Is this just me or is the same text every time? Because that's not how it's supposed to work. You got another scan, let's scan here. There it is. I want to nuke it. So that we can... It will spawn in one minute. Great. Options. These guys are very much problematic. Especially the fast ones. The big ones are not so big of a deal. Never mind. They are a very big of a deal. Look at that. <laughs> oh my bath. Perhaps we won't be able to kill the big lurkers. Actually, I have an idea. Why don't I invest in growth, right? And use... These... This way, I have some protection, basically. There he comes. Yeah, there is no way I'm surviving this, right? No kill. Oh god. Yeah, that's not happening. That was quick. Anyway. I got what I deserved there. Uh, colonize in sulfuric wastelands. That is not a good idea. Certainly not, right? Surviving for 15 minutes in a basalt delta. Let me take a look at this. The things I unlocked. Because I haven't shown you guys. Nor this. Nor this. Which is something. Uh, I want... I still want these guys, right? So let's go for scouting. Really? That is a boss layer. That means that this is an island. <laughs> oh god. Something tells me that either I will be able... Oh, this... There is some land over there. This tells me that either I will be able to cross this thing or I will just die. No rocks to... Oh. <sighs> yeah, this helped me complete the mission. It doesn't help me in doing the 
in surviving at all. Yeah, I'm probably dead here. That was a rough spawn. I still got some things. Let's see, I want exploration in Coca cartoons in order to unlock these. But honestly, perhaps I should farm a little bit in Yunos, right? Oh, uh, perhaps a survival mission here with some value drifting and... Basically, if I die here, I will show you what I'm talking about. But basically, I need some... I need some very specific drops. In order to progress here. Might now go with Frenzy. I'm learning... Oh! I like this. What I'm learning... I will go with these guys. They basically throw saw blades at enemies, and they so these saw blades, they damage everything in a line. Like that. And they deal several instances of damage to whatever they touch. Which is strong. It is very strong, to be honest. They are not very affected by this, but they are very affected by this. Because the radius of the... Of the damage increases, right? And there is the other one, which is this guy. Oh, this is cool. Oh, I want none of these. Oh, the massive rock got destroyed. That's why I'm getting that many resources. This one has a very small radius. However, it damages everything in the radius and attack speed increases its damage instead of increasing it. You can see it triggered a thing. And attack speed increases its damage instead of... Oh, there's another big rock over there. I will throw... Oh, it got destroyed in the first. Right, great. Uh, I want more XP, right? Uh, I, got, I feel like I got offered the same things I was offered last time. I don't know what I really like, Vortex. Let's go with Cryotech. And I'll... Uh, I'm learning is not that great, but at the same time it's not that bad. I really like this biome, the Taiga, the... I think that's the name of it. It is funny how this thing I'm building is very attack speed agnostic, you know. Because these attack the fixed rate. What increases with attack speed is the rate of... The speed of which they... the tick basically how many times the soul eats enemies every second so this thing is very strong it basically doubles my damage right i will throw another one just at i will randomly nuke this biome in order to find some more big stuff because that's a lot of money Data centers? Where? Oh, here. Oh, conjointed data centers. That's not good. No bueno. Basically, it happens sometimes. These things. I don't know why it happens. But basically, 
one of them get destroyed when they get claimed. Which is a bummer. I will nuke this region again. One thing that I was considering was to pre-generate the map so it has a size limit, you know. Yeah, that is... Oh, I found a big rock. Great. Or this. I have a gotten scan there. But anyway, what I was talking about. Oh, yeah. Uh, in map regeneration, we would have get some benefits. Like, well, being able to know how many... How much RAM it would need to load the entire map. Because currently we have an issue within the game. Which is, as soon as the game crosses the 2 gigabyte worth of RAM, which you can see in your task manager, it suddenly closes, which is not nice. I suppose we don't need to manually explore anymore. We can turtle a bit. Turtling is good, mostly because of... Uh, most mostly because of how these work how these work let's nuke these in order to get more money let's explore that region another very good nukeable thing why did I put one of these there? But yeah, it didn't deal enough damage. Great, now my structures will be very much protected. Yes, I got a foundation thing. Interesting. Growth is nice. Seems like it is near due to how um, but I don't know. But the way that these things are drawn is very interesting. Because basically it only shows them where your screen is. Which is nice. Let's nuke this region just because there is tons of rocks there. Nuking rocks is very good for economy. Honestly, a very big part of the RNG within this game is how many rocks there are within, <laughs> within spawning radius. Like, they give so much. Oh yeah, we have to get to that, right? Data centers are very good in several scenarios. They increases how many drops you get at the end of the at the end of the mission. They gives you some levels per minute, which is great. Every single one of them gives you one level per Oh! They worked! That is something I certainly wasn't expecting for these to just work out just like that great let's keep exploring with scan and nuke yeah let's use nuke for exploration why not what could go wrong right anyway i really like the stall there is one spec that allows you to make them homing and that is very strong sadly i didn't get that here but it's fine i still don't have unlocked the double spec that is a very strong thing 
these guys will give me two extra 20 percent extra drops i suppose i believe uh each one giving 10 percent and they also make it so that some drops are now possible such as extra starting gold or I will show you. I will show you the what I'm talking about in the next. As soon as this mission completes, be it a failure or not, let me nuke that boulder. Boulder nuking. Bo uh, nuclear mining, basically. The vortex is very nice. Oh. Let's go then, let's go. Uh, this means that I will get to the King Lurker quickly. Quicker. He is very chill at the moment. I will get this thing. A Behemoth. Behemoths are very strong. As you can probably see, right? I'm trying to get that thing because telescopes. Oh, there it is, the lair. Got another level for old thing. Put this guy here. The vortex is a very nice. This is a very weird. There was a tree right next to the, the lair. Uh, I guess. Let's see. I hope I can kill the king lurker. I'm not sure. I lost some buildings there, but I would probably have lost them anyway. There are more buildings there. Let's see, figure out what they are about. Oh, where? That took a while to render, didn't it? Oh, capacitors. They are strong. Basically, these buildings are capacitors, and they instant ch instantly charge shields within their range. That was quick. Anyway, let's drift. I'm thinking, what should I create? should merge yes but what should I merge I could merge two saw blades let's see my let's see my combo charge to see what I can feature within the video right first of all Let's see, I could make an Echo Slam, which is basically a double earthquake. I have Sniper, right? I could... I could make an Earthquake Sniper combo or Earthquake Saw Blade combo. I will go with an Earthquake Sniper combo. Hmm. 
This is basically uh, earthquake, but it creates earthquakes uh, at the feet of my enemies instead of just. And also, it fires very quickly. See? It creates earthquake remotely, which is nice. These are very much known. And ready, another capacitor. Great. These are very much weird. One thing that I am planning, uh, first of all, let me note this now. These earth cracks, uh, they are going, they are basically showing up above buildings, and that is not right. Done. Now they will show up. Below buildings, where they should. I'm here, just grab the capacitor. have to protect the capacitor. I suppose this is the direction? This is a very weird track going on over there. I don't know actually if projectile speed is good in this situation the range of this is very nice look at that yeah since we haven't spawned in their corners in coca -Tune, this thing is like a walk through the park right Let's nuke some random parts of the desert so we can see if... Oh, data centers? Where? Oh, all over the place. Huh? Okay. Yeah, for I have to go towards them, right? A very thin river. There are some buildings there. having some trouble for well, one second I thought a rock was trying to kill my base oh overclock yeah let's cool them I like that about these structures they feel a little bit strange because while they are cool and all the 
the fact that you can create only one of them is quite com problematic. But at the same time, it would be quite problematic if you could create several of them. Because most of them are not like friendly at all. Like they, they are everything but like friendly. I like Frostbite for this build, it fits a lot. Have to also scan stuff from time to time. Oh god, that's a lot of bugs. What a buggy game, am I right? Okay, it goes that way now. Oh, 16 minutes, which means more upgrades. Nice. Mine layer. Oh, get more options. Seems like the target is over there somewhere. Or e cooling. E-cooling is very nice, given how much cry attack I do have. See, look at how much slow that guy got. Oh, it seems like it is somewhere over there. Is this a capacitor? No, it is a simp. Seismic weapon. Another one. Great. Let me pause the game, scan over there, and pause the game. See what's happening over there. Another one. Nice. I'm trying to go for the second King Lurker, that way I can get tons of upgrades. With these many data centers? That's just an issue of actually. Oh, I'm getting this. Very strong. Oh, Tesla here. Tesla's tower are strong. Like, very strong. Let me pause the game in here I actually use nukes to get this thing going a little bit faster I need one that something million in order to do this also I properly defend these
Okay, let me scan it. What's more? Yeah, it is somewhere around here, I suppose. Uh, oh, cat clone? Yeah, that wasn't the best clone, but... Yeah, sometimes you win some game balls, sometimes you fail. Oh, 19 minutes, tons of upgrades again. Let me pause the game. I believe it is somewhere in this direction. Really need to kill that those king lurkers okay, over there. Many, many enemies there. Game is starting to lag a bit here. I guess that's fair. Look, an egg. <laughs> no way. In 20 minutes, I will probably get a ton of upgrades again. Need more protection here. See? Upgrades galore. X speed is nice. Speaker explosion is very nice. No king lurker still. Do not know if getting to that is a good idea. I will plant some more snipers here and there. As a desperate attempt of protecting that thing. These mines are doing nothing. Might as well not exist. But anyway, most of the game is doing nothing. direction I'm getting closer I suppose no enemies there some enemies here and there very big no defenses here all blades are very not good some things dealing with strong enemies especially yeah I'm afraid we aren't going just win this thing because reasons, right? Tons of levels and again, but I don't see we outscaling our enemy. I don't think it is happening. I still don't see them. Outscaling us, but it may happen. Look at those sharks. <sighs> this is going slow, but it's going. How much video time we have? Oh, already 15 minutes.
Okay, I believe I'm getting to something. This is beautiful. More frostbite. can basically not see it behind the ocean, right? Thankfully, in map view, you can always see it. At least Frostbite is doing most of the work here, funnily enough. This is a very solid base with some mine launchers, some missile launchers. Caliber is very strong with Frostbite. For each slow stack, they take 6k damage per second. And they, on average, have 22 stacks when they die. So, let me, let's pause it. Can it? Yeah, probably within this island, right? It's probably here, somewhere. If I had less projectile speed, I'd probably... I'll probably... be better off right now, right? Pause the game. And they are, here it is. One minute and the boss spawn. Why is lagging so much? Let me pause the game and take a look. Let me take a look at the task manager. No. It is not the garbage collector. I have no idea of what is causing this much lag. But anyway... And it was kind of sudden, the, all this lag. Also, it doesn't happen when the game is paused. Oh, uh, it's probably thick lag, right? Let me figure out the cause of this lag real quick. Has to. We got it. Leg report. Game is paused. Let's check the leg report before we die to the lurker, I suppose. Hmm. I suppose it is lag compensation. I could fix that. It says here that most lag was called by damage numbers. Do you believe that? Oh, never mind. It is projectiles. Okay. So 
Something is creating a ton of projectiles. Weird. Where is this King Lurker after all? Let me figure out. Oh, here it is. I'm not dealing damage to it at all. Pause the game. Nope. Part of the fella. It is not dealing damage to me as well because of how strong my structures are, right? What could help me here? None of these. Perhaps more machine learning. I need more damage. The lag is fading away. So is my base though. That the King Lurker is not affected by slow is something that is. Excuse me, game, could you pause, please? Is something that is reducing my capabilities of doing something to this guy. Suppose we eventually will probably kill it, right? Let's follow it with a camera. Like so. Yeah, eventually this guy will die. Honestly, I will go P box there. It will replace my nukes though. I'll turn off auto level. Right click that thing. Then I will increase the strength of my nukes. And I will change these guys. Here it will hit the lurker, but it won't hit my base. Oof. Would that ever, ever stop playing?
More levels. I will go this one. How much HP does a building have? A lot. That will take a while. I know how I can save a bit on lag here. Let me sell off these so the sharks despawn. Starting to lose HP a little bit faster than it used to be. Losing HP. And nearby this area. Perhaps there's something to do with that. If I could optimize my build. Oh, now it's time for a P box. See? Tons of damage. Now our health is falling. Okay, that wasn't that useful. Not a vortex, really. Get out of my structure so I can nuke you. Yeah, that's, that will do. Oh, that one heart. Now you're losing that. You're losing HP. I suppose. If only I could make it so that it goes... I have an idea. If I place a bunch of structures here, like all of them, like so, the idea is that the King Lurker will be attracted to here more often than not. Right? A lot of money. But that is an idea. That way I can possibly save. Also, game. Oh, 20 minutes already in this. Bro. Damage, damage. Let's pause the game. We still have four things remaining. Oh, God. Let's make a small nuke here. Oh, yeah. Why don't you go towards that thing? Okay. 
here is the place where he seems to take most damage this region overall why what does do we have here that we don't have the rest of the base regular cannons seems so but no we do have regular cannons over the rest of the base oh this attack is the one who which hurts This attack basically does anything. Okay, 31 minutes. How much video left? One hour already. That's a little, little bit of a long video, it seems. Green piece. Will this help? No. <laughs> okay. It seems to lose some health over here as well. Try to nuke it. Nuke deals a couple million damage, right? Yeah, two million. to play in this view seems to go a little bit faster oh it is a damage taking city Singular machine gun, what's causing the it take damage in that region? I don't know. We are getting stronger. He isn't. We are definitely winning this. Definitely. Now we're getting into my trap. Let's trap him even further. It took a long, it took a little while, but the trap did pay off. Look at how quickly he is losing HP right there. And look at how many upgrades did I get. Oh, it is paused. Okay, King of the Hill is nice, however. Still. Look at how fast he is losing HP there. deny this red tax chart right
Okay. That was a long mission. Both in game time and in other time. I think I got a lot of things. Not that many. My barrier increased. I gained more things. I'll leave the planet right now. So, what I was talking about earlier. Uh, I want specifically stuff like reserves and level up. And also options, drop rarity, this is very good. Reroll. I need data centers and Kokachu, and I didn't. Oh, this guy. This guy is the strong one. It allows me to pick a second special specialization, which is very, very strong. But I need to finish a mission in Kokachu while having a data center. So, yeah, that's kind of iffy. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you like it, like it. Subscribe. Those YouTube things. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time.